On this episode of Toy Box TV, we're going to join forces with Ezra Bridger. Then we're back to downtown Disney again for trivia with super fans of Star Wars and Disney Infinity. And we'll be announcing the next 3.0 Toy Box Challenge. I cannot believe I am doing this, Allison. Not, not so close to my eye, okay? Hold oh, still, JV. It's not my fault that you lost the bet. Well, whatever. How was I supposed to know that lightsaber is actually one word? They're not even real. Guys, guys. Oh. oh. Uh, hi, Infiniteers. Um, speaking of lightsabers, did you know that Ezra Bridger built his own lightsaber to also be a wicked blaster? Ah, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's right. So let's take a closer look at Ezra Bridger and his combat abilities right now. Roll that clip. Ezra, being Force sensitive, was trained in the ways of the Force by his fellow team member, Jedi Kanan Jarrus. Using his Force push, Ezra can get himself out of sticky situations. He can also pull in enemies using the Force for an awesome combo finisher. What's really unique about Ezra, though, is that he can use his custom lightsaber, which also doubles as a blaster. That's one deep lightsaber, bro. Ezra's special ability, Blaster Bounce, is super useful when you're being surrounded. Ezra will shoot his blaster, and the shots will ricochet between multiple targets, stunning each of them. That gives you guys the perfect opportunity to slice away with your lightsaber. Ha! Whoa. Lightsaber's one word, you say? Not after I slice it in half! Have you ever wondered how Ezra joined the crew of the Ghost? Well, in Ezra's Spark of the Rebellion toy box, based on the first episode of Star Wars Rebels, join forces with Ezra and stand up for the people of Lothal. First, protect merchants in the marketplace from stormtroopers. Next, join the Ghost crew, run different errands for them, and learn about their mission. Then, upon delivering supplies to the impoverished residents of Tarkin Town, you'll learn the whereabouts of a captured group of Wookiees. Nice. Yeah, thanks. I've been working on that. Next, sneak through an Imperial base, but... It's a trap! Fight your way free and learn the true location of the Wookiees. And finally, travel to the Kessel Mines, where the Wookiees have been forced to work for the Empire. Defeat their captors and then free those Wookiees! Always a happy ending. Aww. Okay, guys, so this week, the team went back to downtown Disney without me. Whatever. I guess someone's got to get things done around the office. Hey guys, we're here at Downtown Disney with some huge Star Wars fans, and we're about to test their knowledge with some trivia. Okay, well, we'll start easy. Who is Luke's father? Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader. Got it. I think. Oh, you have it. It's Darth Vader. There we go. <laughs> Who is Luke's father? Who's Luke's father? Uh, Darth Vader. What planet is Luke from? I don't know. What planet is Luke from? I don't remember. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I remember. <laughs> I don't remember this, no. What planet is Luke from? Tatooine. Tatooine? Yeah. Tatooine? Do you want to know? What is the name of Han Solo's co-pilot, Wookiee? Chewbacca. Chewbacca. <laughs> Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Perfect, good job, guys. Who was frozen in carbonite at the end of Empire Strikes Back? Han Solo. Uh, good job. <laughs> that was my favorite part. I loved Han, like Han was my favorite. I didn't care about Luke at all. What is Princess Leia put into R2-D2's memory? Message. Do you remember what the message says? Help, Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi, Kenobi, you're my only hope. <laughs> what is the name of Luke's sister's father's son? Luke's sister. Isn't it Luke? Yeah. yeah. Luke? Luke? Oh, yeah, it was a trick question, but you guys oh, are too smart. Okay. Yeah. All right, so can you name as many Star Wars characters as you can? Yeah. All right, start naming them. Darth Vader, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Storm Troopers, Darth Maul, the Emperor. Wow, that's a lot. You already have six. Any more you can think of? Um, what about that green guy? Yoda. Yoda, good. R2-D2, C-3PO. That's a lot. You almost have 10 characters. 
you guys have been coming up with some amazing custom figures and displays. We picked out a couple of the really cool customs that we want to highlight for you today. Check out this Wicked Sandy Claus custom by Disney Artist 95. I love how they removed Jack's head, just like he does in the movie, even though it's a little bit creepy. They even added a little present next to Jack. <laughs> now that's what I call attention to detail. I hope I'm on the nice list this year. Yeah, I hope I am too. Someone also made this awesome Wasp custom. Now I love how she looks just like the NPC version of Wasp from the Marvel's Avengers playset. Awesome job, Drilly812. And at Disney Universe, O2 has got a sweet display. Check out their custom shelf display. They have a pretty cool collection of characters, too. Now you guys can submit your Disney Infinity drawings, customs, and art by going to our website and clicking Submit Your Own under Fan Creations on the Community page. All right, guys, toy boxes for the favorite character challenge are due tomorrow, September 30th, at noon Pacific time. Be sure to include hashtag character challenge in the description so we can find your toy box. We've seen some pretty cool toy boxes already, right, Allison? That's right, we sure have. I've seen some cool toy boxes for Donald Duck, Sam Flynn, Milan, and many more. I mean, you guys are rocking this challenge. I've got to say, it's going to be a tough decision. I can see it already. And we know you guys love the Top 5 Countdown, so we'll have its own episode from now on, which will air on Thursdays. You can expect the winners of the Favorite Character Challenge on Thursday, October 8th. Okay, so your next challenge is going to be the platforming challenge. We want you guys to build a toy box using platforming toys to challenge your friends. Things like moving platforms, super cannons, and more. Theming is up to your choice. Let your imagination run wild. Be sure to include hashtag platforming challenge in the description of your submission so we can find it. All toy boxes for the platforming challenge are due by Wednesday, October 7th at noon Pacific time. That's it for this week. Check back next week where we'll jump into the grid with Sam Flynn. Greetings, programs. I can't wait for everyone to check out Sam Flynn. Have an awesome week. And remember, if you can dream it, you can do it.